Hello everyone, Michael from Craig Motorsport and Card here to give you a quick overview of the Bell K1 Sport SA 2020 helmet. This was one of the first helmets uh, made available from the SA 2020 release that we have in stock. Uh, the other being that of the Bell M8 helmet as well as the K1 Pro and the RS7. So Bell has actually been the first to make available helmets with the SA2020 homologation. Just a, a quick note um, on this helmet, there's been some significant uh, construction changes from its uh, predecessor, the SA2015 version. Right off the get-go, if I lift this helmet up a little bit, you'll notice that Bell has elected to go away from the duckbill and they've actually changed the placement and the orientation of the intake vents on the chin. In addition, there's no longer the side-to-side -side oval uh, vents that you can open and close then up on the forehead, but they've gone with eight um, riveted intakes um, vents on the top, as well as two riveted exhaust vents on the rear. The helmet is um, a member of the sport series it is a composite construction it does come with the m6 um, inserts for the hans device here on the interior you have your kevlar chin strap and the nomex interior line liner which is actually quite plush so what is nice about this is once you try on the helmet the first time is going to be the same manner in which it fits the hundredth time. One thing to also note out too is in a close-up view of um, towards the crown of the head, you have that padding that actually does an excellent job as far as wicking away moisture from sitting on the top of your head. Now for individuals that wear eyeglasses like myself or sunglasses, this is actually a very good helmet uh, for that application. Now, the other thing too is uh, for individuals who don't necessarily like the larger visor, say for example, like an M8 helmet has a visor where at the top to bottom is four and three quarter inches or 120 millimeters uh, from its tallest point. The, K1 Sport is only four inches from basically my finger to finger here. So it's um, right at 102 millimeters at its widest point. So if you do like more of the formula style, um, a narrower visor, uh, this is a good option for you. Included with the helmet is a few accessories. So the very, very first thing that, they, um, that you'll see in the box with the helmet is actually this um, uh, air scoop, which is uh, mounted with double-sided 3M tape, which will go right up on top here, as well as your uh, provided eight intake plugs, um, should you wish to just go ahead and close these off. That is included with the helmet. In addition with the helmet, as always, you get your Bell user manual, as well as your um, tear-off post and your um, screwdriver for changing out your visor. If you are looking to change from a clear visor, we do stock those. The visor that you'll want is the Bell 276 uh, shield, in which we have these in pretty much most major um, tints, this one here being that of the Iridium tint. We, this helmet here retails at $397.99. It does come in this gloss white or a flat black in sizes extra small through extra large. Um, we have availability um, mostly right now in the gloss white, um, but we'll be having a uh, flat black here in the coming weeks. I will leave a link down below as far as where you can go to order this helmet or you can give us a call at 336-512-8537. And if you have any questions pertaining to this helmet, give us a call or send us uh, an email or just drop a comment down in the, uh, in the comment section below. Talk to you soon. Take care.